Hi and welcome to our channel. Question for you today. Do you love the idea of art or teaching art to your kids at home but you struggle to do it? If so, no worries. Today we have three art programs to share with you that make it fun and enjoyable to teach your kids art at home. I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and today we are talking art programs that are easy to do at home. So we have three art programs to recommend to you today because finding the right art program fit for your family or for your co-op can be hard. So today we're going to share some of the ones that we have used and loved because one, they are fun and they are easy and the projects turn out very well. Number two, they allow you to teach more than one age or grade at a time so you can group lots of kids together and have them all doing the same project, which is always a bonus. And number three is that they're very user friendly. Two of them are video based so you can easily watch and learn from the videos. And then the other one has a great textbook with good explanations and gorgeous pictures. So no more stressing out about teaching art. And no more feeling guilty because you really want to do art with your kids but it's always the first thing <laughs> that gets shoved to the side. So the first art program is the Home Art Studio with Lindsay Volan. She's an elementary school art teacher. This is a DVD based program that goes all the way from preschool to fifth grade and it even has separate DVDs for holiday art projects and Bible art projects. So each grade in this program has a separate DVD. At our house what we did is we just all started together with the kindergarten DVD. Even I did the projects and I did not feel as an adult that the kindergarten projects were too easy for me or beneath me. Um, and so they were all so cute and so much fun. My kids loved Miss Volan and the skills build as you go through the series. So we started all together in kindergarten and went right on up through fifth grade. Each DVD has multiple projects on it, each with a short video lesson, and you can even preview a couple of the first lessons on their website, which we'll have linked down below. So why did we love this program so much? Well, I loved it because the projects were easy and cute and they always turned out so we did not have frustrated artists at our house. Also, the kids loved it so much. So I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to take you back to elementary school Kate and show you some of her artwork. Uh, for instance, we have this picture, which we'll put on the screen for you, of Kate's watermelon, <laughs> overlapping watermelons. So if you look at the picture, you can see that the kids had to work on placement. They had to work on overlapping the slices of watermelon, outlining everything in a Sharpie and then painting it. Um, so they enjoyed the project. We did it all together. And then they were able to repeat that project on their own. It was well within their skill set once they watched Miss Volan on the video. So over the next couple of years at my house, we probably had 50 watermelon pictures created because they loved it that much. Another favorite was building a hamburger. We could have fed, you know, a basketball team with all the hamburgers that we made. That was a fun one. And this was absolutely one of their all-time favorite, the blue dog with the orange background. The Home Art Studio website also has a link to a supply list that you can look at and then you can just purchase those things online with a couple of clicks so you're not searching down art supplies all the time. Yeah, that is a huge time saver. So you can buy the DVDs right from the Home Art Studio website or sometimes you can catch a deal at a place like the Homeschool Buyers Co-op. We'll link that below. They'll have a bundle package of the DVDs. That's how I bought my set. So the second art program we recommend is the Ever Ancient ever new uh, program by Catholic Heritage Curricula. This one's not a DVD, it is a textbook based program, but the textbook is full of very useful information and gorgeous pictures. And it also comes with an art pad that has all the instructions for the art projects. So you have the art projects and you have art history thrown in with all these beautiful examples of art. So this one is targeted for middle school students, but at our co-op, we did it with middle school and high school students together and it was perfectly fine. 
So this book, level one, goes from ancient art to renaissance, and then level two picks up from there and goes into more modern art. So we'll show you a couple of the projects that we did. So one of our favorite ones that we did was this piece right here. This is in the style of Greek art. They're pottery with the bright backgrounds and then the black figures. Yeah, the kids got really creative. <laughs> Some of their figures were doing very interesting things. Right, so, and then this was another project we did. It was an embossed prayer book. So they used the aluminum foil and they embossed it. On the inside, they did kind of a illuminated manuscript type of verse with a letter. So this project was done over two or three weeks, I think. So when you see this, don't think, oh, how could you do that in an hour of art on one Friday? No. As Kate mentioned, this program has two levels, level one for middle school and then level two for high school. But if you want to use it with high schoolers just coming into the program, it is recommended to start with level one because the lessons do build on each other. And then the other thing is that each book is meant to be used or set up so that you can get through it all in one year, but you can also slow down and do each book over two years. And another nice thing about the program is that it is non-consumable, which means you can buy it now and then save it for younger kids coming up into middle school and high school. So the only thing you really have to repurchase is the art pad, and you can get the whole program on the Catholic Heritage Curricula website, which we'll have linked below. And they do run shipping deals occasionally, free shipping, so watch out for those before you buy. Yeah, I think one of those is coming up in March, so definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, so we've done elementary school, preschool, middle school, and now we're up to high school. And for that, we really liked using a program called Art Projects from See the Light Art. So Pat Nepley teaches this class. She is a master artist, and this is a DVD program. It has nine different projects for high school, and each one of the projects is based on the style of a famous artist. For instance, this stained glass inspired piece we did in the style of Louis Comfort Tiffany. And then we moved on. We did a watercolor beach scene in the style of Winslow Homer. So Miss Pat is great. She walks you through every step of the project on the DVD. And at the same time, she talks about the artist. She gives you a biography. She talks about art style, art techniques, art elements. So you really learn a lot. And she also incorporates different media into each one of the projects. You can have collage or oil pastels or watercolor. And some projects even incorporate multiple types of media. So it's a fun yet challenging program. We drew horses in the style of Degas, which was very difficult. So that's one of the challenging elements of it, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you wouldn't think it was so hard to draw a horse, but oh, it is. yeah, yeah, it is not so easy. The projects in art projects are definitely more challenging, and we certainly gained an appreciation of how difficult it can be to create a beautiful work of art. Yes, the famous artists definitely deserve their fame. And it was funny, I had one student, a teenage boy, who came into the class telling me he hated art, he never drew, he didn't color, he didn't do anything like that. But it turns out, once he got started, that he was actually very talented. So every class he was so shocked and surprised when he was drawing and it turned out really well. So he uncovered a secret skill that he never knew he had. And Miss Pat explains the lessons and the projects very, very well. The videos are definitely go at your own pace and there's lots of close-ups of the projects so you know exactly what you're doing. This program comes with a printable guide for high school parents that tells you just how you can make this class usable for high school credit, which is really handy. I will link the See the Light art website down below, but be aware that they do run periodic sales for up to 40% off. So when we use the program, I waited for a sale and I bought the complete art projects DVD set on sale, which was great. <laughs> And any one of the art programs we talked about today can make it very easy to fit art into your homeschool week. I grew up doing art all the time with these various different programs, and so it gave me a love of art that I still have. And I made a video on my favorite art supply recommendations, so we'll link that down below. 
So if you have a favorite art program or a favorite art media, paint, watercolor, oil, let us know in the comments below or even just tell us who is your favorite artist. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.